Welcome Crystal Souls on this new picky card. Today let me present you the soulmate you'll marry. So for this reading we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And by the way, thank you so much for your support with personal readings, yes or no, you guys are amazing. Thank you as well for everybody who got a copy of my book of answers, I really appreciate that. Are you ready? Let's begin. Group number one, let's start and get a lot of hints about your soulmate, the one you will marry. So if you look at these two lovebirds, we can see comfort, joy and the way she looks at him is just full of love. So this is what you can expect in the future with your soulmate. This sensation and feeling of being comfortable, feeling good around each other. So let's see with the cards more hints about your soulmate. What is happening? <laughs> My camera is just dancing, okay? So let's see. Perhaps this is a message, you know, being out of focus and then focusing on somebody. Perhaps if you're focusing on somebody these days, it could be an extra message for you guys. This might be actually a soulmate. So let's pick these cards. First of all, okay, so there is a new beginning and the Ace of Swords talks about plans. What do you want to create? What is something that you plan on doing? experiencing, feeling or getting from a soulmate because we have many soulmates. So you're attracting someone you see as the one. You see as exactly what you planned on attracting in your life, what you are manifesting especially. So this is all in your hands and with all the ties, of course you guys have a tie as a soul, but also I see this as the tie connected to destiny. So there might be a plan for you guys to fulfill and this is part of your truth because to me the sword connects, connects to the symbolism of truth and triumph. So I see a victorious relationship, a happy marriage, a deep connection with somebody that you cannot ignore or just push away because you always feel called to go back to them. So that intense connection is going to be with the chosen one. This person can be an air sign because I'm getting air energy with the swords. And if you look at this, this reminds me of a web. So the web can be the internet. So if you've been connecting to or talking to somebody on the internet, this could be someone that indeed you had the destiny there to fulfill. I'm saying this because the key to me is a symbol I see for destiny or like a door we open to step forward in order for us to meet our destiny with somebody or with something. So you are guided towards this person. You're being called to focus on this person and to create this beautiful relationship together. Because you can see two men in one body. This could be the feeling when you meet somebody. It's like you find yourself in them. You guys are tweens or you guys feel like you are very similar in the essence. Or they can have a personality which is, which is quite diverse. Sometimes it feels like dating multiple people because they have so much in them. That can be the message too. But what I see is someone who is ready to explore, to step forward and to engage and start a beautiful loving relationship with you. So this is somebody who is wanting commitment, who is possibly looking for their future wife or future husband already and they have this as part of their plan. That's their mission, that's their goal. And you might want the same thing. This is why I see you two bonding and connecting quite easily because you guys are compatible. Because I see the mountains at distance, this is going to be a relationship that helps you to grow and ascend to become your best self. And I told you, you guys are going to reflect a lot about each other. So it's like looking into a mirror when meeting this soulmate. But this is celebrated and with the boats at the distance because I talked about the web. If you're starting this relationship online, you guys will travel to each other. 
So get ready for that. And I'm sure you're ready because, I mean, <laughs> one of you guys is stepping forward. Like, I'm ready to meet you. I'm ready to make plans for us so we can start something together. So let's see more about this soulmate on top of the roof. So what I see with this is yes that's connected success and this is because they keep on working same thing for this relationship they want to make it work and they putting the effort to make this relationship grow with time they're not someone who is lazy they're not someone who always find excuses to not show up no this person is on top of their games they make time for you and for their projects too but they're not ignoring you or putting you in a corner and expecting you to stay. They're on top of the game. They want to be with you and they're showing up. But also with their career or studies, they are really prioritizing that because they want to be the provider. They want to be successful enough for you guys to find stability and comfort when being together. Because I see a house and she is on top of the roof, this could be connected to you guys getting a house together quite quickly. Or this could be part of the plan when getting married or even before living together and then getting married. But there is this perspective from your soulmate, which is like, I know <laughs> where I'm heading. I know what I'm looking for. And I will only accept these things in my life because this is what really matters to me. And all these traits, values or projects and plans for the future, if I see you, you are compatible, then I will really put all my effort in that relationship, all my time in this relationship. So let's see these two. Feeling cozy together and closeness. We could see that you guys feel very good together. You feel close to each other. And that's because you understand each other. And you can really support each other. So closeness is what you can expect. And feeling comfortable, cozy. And this could be a night together in the future. You know, just in front of the library. Possibly reading a book or maybe watching a good movie, enjoying the warmth. <laughs> so yes, that's what I can see for the two of you. Let's see now traits about your person. What's their personality? So they can be a bit shy, shy or introverted. And a paradox. This is someone who is like, I want that and I'm not going to apologize for this or I want this type of person in my life and I'm not going to settle down for less. So they have this type of attitude. Pathetic and shy are the two cards for you guys. Personality wise, let's see now what they might look like physically. And perhaps you can see traits already. Like for example, someone who is built and very strong if not about you, this could be things they like. I mean, if not about them, this could be things they like about you. When I was just talking about someone who is strong, so active wear, and they can be active. That's why. And we have somebody who is short. For the cat, again, I see protection and I see this introvert side. They can be good at being creative. So I see drawing, maybe a singer, um, or maybe someone who likes to sing. Things like that that are creative, could be fashion too. We have business, style, fantasy, and someone who could have tattoo. The, or tattoo, I don't know. But tattooed, fantasy, and business style. And I'm saying again, someone stepping forward and you could see that with this card. So I don't know, but I feel like this is pretty clear. This person is stepping in your life and you might know and suspect because you're focusing on this person. Remember the focus? <laughs> yes, I think that's here for a reason. And all these might be guiding you towards somebody specific. So let's see now letters and words so we can see maybe a name, initials from the place, your person, a word. Let's see any type of hints we need to receive about the soulmate. I see voice. Can you see that? So, and I told you singing, so they can have a beautiful voice. We we'll love to sing a lot. I see the one, and we talked about this with 
the ace so this is the one for you indeed that's why you're marrying each other <laughs> um you can feel some type of emptiness before meeting them because i see that in french vide i see creation so you can be creating something i see noel in French, just missing the L. Um, and Noel is Christmas. So it could be the time. Five. Car is what I thought about. Ride. It may be a car ride. CEO. So they can be a boss. What else? Maybe you can see something I'm not seeing. So let's see the words. We have flower, stuff, play, wish, and from. So perhaps you can see a place with from showing up. Let's see if I can see a place calling me. Oops. Um, not really. It's except perhaps Germany. But maybe something is appearing to you. So let me pick next. The zodiac great. So we can see why am I shaking this? <laughs> That's because I always do that. Anyways, <laughs> I was just mistaken. Um so let's see the zodiac sign of your person. So so far we had air sign and we have fire sign. If not signs, they can be seasons too. So sword is actually winter, and for fire this is spring season. And we saw Christmas too, so this could be an extra. Or maybe celebrating Christmas is something you guys adore. Maybe the light, the decor, things like this. I kind of see decor. Yes, decor! <laughs> and I told you, oh, I see Dior as well. Could be a brand they like. Um, and I told you, actually, someone who likes anything crafty, artistic. Okay, so for the signs, we have Leo, Cancer, Gemini. Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Libra. Let me pick now the stickers. And then we have my book of love answers. So we can see a message or some guidance for your soulmate. Okay. I love that everything here, you know, is connected with this heart, which is a pin. So let's see what's in there. So true love is what you can expect with your person let's see this message pi like you very much <laughs> here reading books and we saw this with the feel feeling cozy with the library and the book so it could be you guys will love to read or watch stories or listen to maybe podcast together but i see this imaginary which is quite you know something you like for the message, the things you own end up owning you. We have a bouquet, so they could love to buy you flowers and show you love, taking pictures with you. Or maybe liking your pictures could be a message. And again, you know, we saw so shy and this one looks quite shy, so they can be <laughs> totally this type of person. I can and I will. I put a spell on you. <laughs> Then we have decor and we could see that with the letters. So yes, this person will love maybe decorating their place or when you guys will have a house together, you will love to actually take time to decor it. We have the boba drink. Could be something you guys love to drink. Going to the restaurant a lot. I see poems, writing poems to each other or notes. Having a drink together. And I see this as... I'm reaching out to you, or I'm here, I'm present, just <laughs> notice me, so that's the vibe. So let's see now with the book of love answers, and you can find, oops, not this, <laughs> you can find your copy on Amazon if you guys are interested. And if you want a reading, by the way, same thing, everything is going to be linked down below. Let's see, so group number one, what's the guidance connected to you look at 
this. This is a forever love story. So make sure to claim this down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Join the family and check my other readings on my channel. I also have a soulmate location reading, which I think could be quite interesting for you guys. Thank you for watching, take good care of you and see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So group number two, let's see hints about your future soulmate and marriage together. So you can see I love you and you can see two lovebirds at the table, enjoying their time together, showing love to each other. So this is going to be the future you can expect with your soulmate. So Mona is going to show you with these attentions, a kiss, a touch, a caress, holding your hand, that this connection is something they feel deeply and they're showing you their love with these things. So let's see with the tarot cards more about your soulmate. Ooh, okay, I can see that. So, and honestly, when I was looking at this picture, I was thinking of rather a CEO or someone who is quite abandoned. And with the king, I see that actually. Now, we have the devil appearing. I'm not sure if this is connected to your person, but I'm more getting this as some type of influence. Could be a mom, could be someone with opinions, could be maybe a friend trying to split the two of you. There could be a bit of a challenge in the beginning with that connection. But if you focus on what they have to offer and who they truly are, which is a king or a queen here, this is when you passed the challenge. Or if you have options, you might be tempted towards somebody, but you know and you feel this is not my soulmate. So take what resonates with you and perhaps this will make sense later when meeting these people. But the one you will marry, you can see yourself fully investing your time, your being and your heart in this connection. I'm saying this because we have a tree. This one is growing roots on top of of the back of the turtle. That means you're growing roots in that relationship with your person. And actually the turtle talks about protection home. So you will feel at home and feeling safe with your person. This is what I see. This can start slow and that's because this person is seeing this as an investment with actually effort and so this can last in time. So they're not rushing but if somebody else is presented, this person is going to go quick and want things to be fast because they might have intentions that are not really right. I'm saying this as a warning, okay? Or maybe, like I said, a challenge because somebody around you connected close to you guys might have some type of influence, which is not the best. But if you just ignore it, this is when you create beauty in that relationship. Actually, the page of coins talks about a new chance, a new opportunity. And this is encouraging yourself to focus on what you want, to focus on the positive and to prioritize what makes yourself happy. And maybe when presented these people, ask yourself, who is always here for me, making time for me, making me feel grounded and positive and inspired, excited... Who makes me feel safe? Who do I see a real future with? Who do I want to be building myself with? And when you ask yourself these questions, you'll gain clarity. And this is why I see the moon and the stars showing you, oh, that's the one. <laughs> and then you're going to see that you can be building something beautiful and grow with each other. Perhaps these animals can be animals that you adopt or maybe conceive later and have a family together. But there is the sense of family. And actually the deers connect to that sense of royalty. And because you could see a king, I do see that for you again. You're attracting someone who is going to be someone of value, someone you respect, someone you feel inspired by. Your soulmate is very special and I'm sure you will feel it. This love is something else, this connection is something else and the way I feel around this person 
it, it feels so good. <laughs> All right. And with the mountains, I see the two of you ascending, growing together. This is why we could see building a home, taking your time, building together, growing roots, growing flowers, seeing clearly that's the one wanting to ascend, grow together. And again, we can see the sun. And this is showing this soulmate marriage is going to be a success. But first of all, you might be presented possibly options, but one of them is just not the one. And you will know. You will know that's going to be quite evident. Okay? But you're gifted this opportunity to be with someone that you value, with someone that, like I said, inspires you. So let's see. As for the signs, the signs here I see are especially earth signs with coins. If not signs, they can be seasons. So this is autumn for these two. As for the devil, let me think. Yes, devil is Capricorn or so Capricorn season or Capricorn sign. So on board. And I feel like, yes, you're ready for that relationship. <laughs> you're claiming for that. Look at this. We have first date on this card. I'll take it. That's the over energy of the deck. So first date, oops, expected. First date, opening your heart, opening your wings, flying together. And again, you know, you could see on top of the back, you're growing. And here you're on top of the roof together, on top of, <laughs> of the car, in the boat together, on board for this loving relationship and this beautiful marriage in the future. So yes, you're going to feel at ease and comfortable to be on board with this person. You're going to feel like I can be myself and open up completely around them. And the first date is going to show you clearly who that person is, how they treat you, and what their intentions are. Are. This is why you might not be fooled easily because you know how to perceive deeply what people's intentions are, what you know they just want from this connection, what they see with you in the future. You know, you're not going to be like just completely <laughs> on your knees right away. You're going to take your time and appreciate how these dates evolve. And I'm telling you, if you take your time and go slow like the turtle, this is when you can make your way to the finish line. You know the story, the rabbit seems to be like, okay, that's the winner. This one is quick. But then at the end, you can see the turtle winning that fast race. Fast. <laughs> but slowly, step by step, this one is like, I'm taking my time, but I'm sure I'll, I'll make it. And there's this confidence too. Maybe I'm not, you know, having all the qualities or I'm not advantaged to be the winner but the rabbit is like oh if time i can rest and then he lose the the race you see what i mean it's like some people will go quick but you see they're not going to be the winner but with the people that take their time and have the confidence to keep on going and they take their time with you to conquer you to seduce you that's when you know that's the one i want to invest with because i can see things lasting in time so let's see, with cobble cards, more about your future. And I'm seeing 8-8, eight, eight, which is the infinite sign. So that is a sign for you guys. This is divine. And perhaps you've been seeing these type of numbers, like 8-8-8, eight, 11-11, eight, eight, eleven, eleven, which are soulmate numbers. We have complicity with this one. I, I told you. And I was really getting this type of dynamic. So for some people, there will be indeed a love triangle. And um, you guys will have to choose. You guys will have to choose because in the beginning, you might feel all oh, these options are quite tempting. But one of them is just not someone you can see, you know, marrying in the future. So choose the one you have the most complicity with like someone you can fully have fun with someone who makes you feel safe to be yourself to express yourself um someone you can see indeed grounding yourself you know if you picture people as a garden or like a soil like if you were a tree which soil would you pick? Someone who has a lot of nutrients, who is well watered, um, some, you know, soil that is just 
potent, <laughs> you see? Or will you just accept the challenge of a dirt that is dry with no nutrients, like a desert, you see? So do you want to be a cactus or do you want to be a pine tree in a very misty forest? That's what I'm getting here. You have these two options, but one of them is not your soulmate. So let's see traits about your soulmate. Who are they as a person, their personality? Let's get hints. You're attracting someone romantic. I'm not really surprised because if you looked at the first date, you know, going, watching the, um, the sky together is very romantic, actually. Um, perhaps even going to a lake, on a boat, talking with each other. I see someone who en enjoys nature, someone who enjoys these type of dates where it's not too crowdy, not too noisy. Like, I'm not getting someone who will take you on the first date to get a drink because they want to exchange with you, sit down with you and feel comfortable with you. I'm not saying this is not possible, but in a very noisy area, personally, I don't like it. Like, if somebody tells me, let's go for a drink on the first date, I'm like, what? Because that's very low effort. That's what everybody is doing, first of all. So it shows you're not really special for them to make effort, first of all. But secondly, it shows they're not thinking of the time you'll spend there. But if they're extroverts, I guess it's something they enjoy. But I'm, I'm telling you, for someone who likes to have a deep connection and exchange with you, or maybe they'll go and have a drink, but after talking to each other, you see? Because they have this um, desire to just talk with you and have some time with you where it's not in an environment. Yes, I, I think you get the point. That's not too stimulating. So I see romance and romantic can be about writing notes to you, buying you flowers, paying attention to details so then they can gift these things to you or provide something to you. It can be, for example, your favorite food. It could be your favorite music. They part on the radio when you guys are together. You know, that can be these things. And perhaps even driving to a place you always wanted to visit. And we have someone mysterious. So that's the vibe. Romantic and mysterious. And perhaps this is why you're like, I'm not sure, I'm confused. Is the person really interested? Is this person really the one? And may maybe you feel, I just want someone to be quick. But no, this person takes their time. And that builds perhaps this mystery. This mystery that makes you question things a little bit. <laughs> so let's see now some physical traits. Oops, I'll, I'll pick it in a second. So this can be about you, things they like, or this could be about them. So let's see. Glasses, contact, hazel eyes, casual style, and I'll pick these, red hair, and short hair. So pay attention to the looks on the cards too, because that can be significant for some of you. So perhaps wearing glasses, contacts, red hair, short hair. These are the illustrations. This reminds me of the, the movie I was watching yesterday. The one that came out on Netflix, which I really liked. Um, I think it's Damsel. Damsel, I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. <laughs> in French, it's the, um, the Princess and the Dragon. I really, really liked it. So if you guys want to check it out, that's the vibe I'm getting. Um, so then we have Azel eyes and casual style. And they could be a city person too. That's what I'm getting here. Although we could see a lot of places in nature, they could love to go out from the city to explore with you. So let's continue with the other techniques. Let's start first with the letters and words. So we can see a name, a place appearing, something specific for you guys. We have love, smile from, ing, maybe smiling, good, when, funny, and why for the words. Let's see then with the letters. 
Gen, maybe Gen Z, Generation, New York City, Gym, so they could love to go to the gym a lot. Or this could be things you guys will do together. I see, I heard meet, so you can be meeting very quickly, very soon. I heard mic. Could be microphone or mic as a, a name. That's pretty much what I can see, but something can appear to you. And for the numbers, numbers you can see can be 111, 1111, 444, 222, and 333. So these numbers have codes. 111 is a new beginning or someone that you're attracting and manifesting. 1111 is a wish coming true. For three, it's about growth. So you're manifesting growth. Number four talks about stability. And number two is togetherness, unity. <laughs> so let's see, there's a deck sign. And we had Capricorn and um, Earth energy. So that's a plus. So for these, we have Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Let's continue with the stickers and then we have my book of love answers for an extra message and guidance from your soulmate. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Ooh, we have music, my record. And I told you, listening to music in the car, the one that you love the most. So I don't know. I feel this is again connected. They will show you. I paid attention. And reminder, you're the main character. Another message here. Don't aid your enemy or you will make the wrong judgment. And ooh, I don't know what she's talking about, just going for a drink. So they might do that. They might enjoy to have a drink with you. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying for the first date, like the first thing you guys do together, there could be more effort put into these dates. And perhaps be the one introducing a, um, an activity or going to a place. But I can see that going for a drink as well, being open for this. <laughs> Maybe I'm just the only one bothered by this. But yes, if you like that, that's what you can be offered. So let's continue with the book of answers. And if you guys want to get your reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. Same thing for my book of answers. You can find them on Amazon. Let's see. So group number two, what is the guidance? I don't care about other guys or other girls, okay? So you can see this person is truly invested with you and just want to be with you, okay? That's why you can see maybe the devil card is just someone who is playing with many people, but this soulmate is so in love. So that's the reading. I hope you liked it. Claim this energy down below in the comments. Like this video as well. Join the family if you're new. You can also check my other readings. I also have soulmate location readings, so check them out. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye. So group number three, let's start and get hints about your soulmate and your future marriage together. So we have I love you as a confession right away with this one. So they will show their love and they might actually love to have couple matching clothes or you guys when going out in the future, you might really just check their style and just match. So this is um to me like a a message telling you you guys are a perfect match as well okay not just with the fashion but you guys are just perfect for each other and you can see this trust holding hand talking together looking at each other so this person has their eyes on you this person is cool and you're cool too and they find you just perfect that's why they find you cool they love to chat with you they trust you they want to build with you they love you so this is pretty clear this person is fully invested with you and you could say cool cool okay so that's the vibe let's continue with the other decks so let's get hints about your soulmate let's pick these so 
What I see is you're guided towards somebody. You're leaving the past behind, ready to build with somebody. You're stepping in this new beginning, this new chapter of love and looking for something or someone that's the best. Even zero is like a reset. I'm resetting from the past. I'm looking forward. I'm ready for love and I'm moving in this direction. Nothing can stop me. And you have the strength and confidence to know someone is right for you. And you're not stopping there you're not stopping with you know your desire to date your desire to love again your desire to find the right person for you the right match for you and you're someone who is dedicated and, de and determined to make that relationship work you're ready for this new beginning and this is why you're looking forward to actually start something with someone and you could see you are finding your perfect match this person is indeed in your soul family to me the three of cups is a soulmate card, you know, just celebrating together, feeling the connection, there is complicity, and we could see that even the match. <laughs> so you're finding someone who is perfect for you. And even the nine of cups is that reward in my perspective. Like you're being rewarded with someone who is solely connected to you and who wants to celebrate their time with you. Perhaps the dates you guys will have are like going for a trip on a weekend, maybe visiting a place that feels like a castle or a very fancy place. Again, with the full, I see travel. I'm not sure, but you guys can be from the distance because I can see, you know, I'm looking forward to be there. And here you can see I'm on the boat, I'm ready, I'm moving <laughs> in your direction. So they can be traveling to you or driving to your place, or maybe stepping forward to be physically with you. And here we can see going for a drink, going for a meal with this one. They could love activities that are quite, um, what, what's the word? F not physical, no, that's not the word. Like just doing sports or working out together, if that's something you like, of course. <laughs> but you can have this type of mutual interest for some activity that's active you see but i see food as something they love drinks um and again i see someone who has this strong personality like a king or a queen some and you know the the little mermaid here is looking forward to be with the prince and perhaps this is the idea you're looking forward to be with your prince or your princess and you're finding not a princess or prince you're finding a queen or a king you're finding the next level you see you're finding someone that you see value i said cups this is coins sorry <laughs> i'm mistaken that but that's the same um, the same symbolism I was talking about. Someone of value, someone that will be, that will bring you, you know, all that you're looking for, all that you desire right now. It's like you want to get a piece of it, <laughs> a piece of that water, watermelon. And that's because, you know, that's tasty. That's the future you want to taste. That's the love you want to taste. As for the numbers, numbers you could have been seeing. Number three, which is about growth. Number six, which is about love. Number five, six, seven, eight. Num oh, that's actually the infinite sign. And then we have number nine. So number nine connects to perfection. So you're attracting perfection with someone who is solely connected to you, who loves you a lot and wants to grow with you. Number zero, like I said, is a reset. You're resetting the, um, like your, your destiny. You're just stepping forward to then manifest a new chapter, which is leading you towards someone magical, someone you see as, as valuable and as inspiring to. That's why you want to invest with them because you see that's the one I see a successful relationship with. That's the one I see a future growing and evolving in the right direction because we are very connected and we celebrate our time and life together and we are not afraid to share our depths together that's why we grow together beautifully with number three and that's why you're not afraid to leave the past behind or the people behind if you guys live from the distance of course when getting married or when things are going to be serious you might leave your family behind and or your place behind and then live with them 
just saying because I can see that in the future. So are you ready to do these things? I feel so. If you find the true love that you know you're craving for, you're not going to be afraid to make these type of sacrifices. So let's see with the other cards. Anything about your soulmate? Ooh, yes. I mean, you can see <laughs> I'm moving forward. I'm here for you. So you guys are uniting. And you could see all together celebrating life. So you can expect to be uniting together. Or perhaps you are in union already. This could be the message. If you're dating someone, this is your soulmate. And this person is shining bright. Like I said, you're looking forward to someone who is going to complete you and love you and respect you. But all that you pictured, this is even beyond your expectations, like beyond what you could even imagine your future person to be. So you're gifted a relationship which is going to be quite special, like a star. I'm gifted a star. I'm gifted someone who talks to my soul, who is connected to my soul family. And we could see that with the Three of Cups. Or perhaps this person is popular. Perhaps this person is a star on social media or a star with what they do. But you're really stepping forward towards someone you see as bright. You see as the perfect match for you. And of course you want to be with them. <laughs> and you cannot wait to be meeting them. And it's kind of like she's jumping on stars to then meet that person. So maybe the challenge for you is going to be that moving in their direction, moving in the same country. And perhaps you felt guided to go somewhere, to go to a certain place, a certain city, a certain country, because you know that's where my destiny is, or that's where my soulmate is, that's where my D1 is. And you feel called to go there because there is indeed this part of destiny which needs to be fulfilled in this specific place or with this specific person if you target someone if you know that's the one for me so listen to your intuition because you're gonna be indeed guided towards what is written in the stars for the two of you so let's see couple cards Falling in love. And this is funny because we started with I love you. So yes, you guys are going to fall in love together. I told you, going for a drink, eating food, and here they're having ice cream. <laughs> so maybe that's a sign. You guys will go for, you know, a date and having a meal together or a treat. This is camera, I swear to God. <laughs> now you can see. So falling in love. And this ice cream. Um, I see flowers too and flowers here. So they could love to buy you flowers or get you flowers for your future dates. Mutual support is what you can expect in this connection too. And I could see that holding hands. I'm here for you. I'm going to stick with you. So you will feel supported. You will feel deeply connected with your person. That's what you can get here with these two cards. So let's continue and see more about their personality. Emotionally strong. Maybe that's why we could see the strength card. I'm strong. <laughs> I'm emotionally available. I'm here for you. I can support you. Okay. <laughs> it just flew. Let me pick it. And chill. <laughs> we like to see that. Someone chill. Peaceful, positive, you know, someone you just feel comfortable and, and good to be around. Chill. And maybe the flower again, like I said, could be connected to what we talked about, gifting you flowers. So let's see now physical traits. What they will look like. But so far I'm seeing someone strong. I'm seeing someone who could be very independent and abundant, rich someone who is social or they could have a community if they're a star that makes sense they might have fans supporters or you know a web family <laughs> soul family ah again i have to pick it okay let me check these cards so they can be about physical traits from you that they like or about them so we have blonde green eyes freckles they have this mystical vibe about them this mystical style i swear this camera 
so sorry this is bothering me this, like the entire bidding it was out of focus or just struggling to do it so freckles blonde and green eyes Perhaps even the illustrations are talking to you. We have Shabby and one on the floor I'm gonna pick in a second. And again, green eyes. <laughs> I don't know if this is something you guys will have, like the same eye colors. If not, green could be something different, but I'm seeing some match with your eye colors <laughs> for some reason. But yes, that's here for a reason actually so let's see next the letters and words so we can see a place a name maybe a sentence words any type of guidance for you okay so we have e e e e <laughs> a n n i heard ocean so it could be reach like Beneath, good, sassy, and sing. So they can be popular with their voice. If not singing, could be um, like someone doing podcast, talking on their videos, or I don't know, but something about their voice. Or maybe when they sing, that's quite melodious and beautiful. So these are the hints. Alright, so let's continue with the grid. So for the zodiac signs, on the cards I can see earth, water, air, air again, and I can see Pisces, even with the mermaid. So it could be a Pisces, or if not connected to their zodiac, it could be the season. It could be. Um, and here I see Leo, okay? So this, this could be your sign or their sign. Um, so for the seasons, they could be autumn, summer, and winter. Or the zodiac seasons we talked about, of course. So here we have Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Let's continue with the stickers. Let's get stickers about your soulmate. And then I have my book of love answers. So we can see a message or guidance connected to your soulmate. So let's see, we have a kiss, BFF, it's gonna feel like, yes, you have a best friend as a lover, I see the universe manifesting the two of you to be together, so we have closeness with a kiss, someone looking sharp, definitely, <laughs> they can wear a, sh a suit a lot, and um, what on earth, I, I, I remember turning my phone on airplane mode and I'm still receiving emails. What? Um, I see celebrating birthdays together and this could be um, wedding birthdays that you celebrate together. I see someone who is in awe, like when they look at you, they have sparks in the eyes. <laughs> yes, you're very charismatic, charming to them. But same for you, when you look at them, you're gonna feel that way. And sleeping together, feeling cozy at night. I'm sticking with you. And with the band aid, I'm seeing this healing relationship and connection here. Someone crafty, they could work in the office as well. And again, yes, I'm seeing all. <laughs> I'm seeing like, wow, this person is magical. Like this is gonna be truly the feeling you guys feel when dating each other or when being together. And if you guys want to get a reading with me, Everything is going to be linked down below if you want to get more hints about your soulmate, your love life, your career, everything you want. So check it out if interested. Same for my book of love answers or my book of answers. Everything is down below. So let's see group number three. What's the guidance? What's the energy? Okay, so you can expect a romantic trip and we talked about actually going to a place so this is what you can expect here make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments subscribe join the family if you're new here and you can also check my other readings appearing on the screen i'll put the soulmate location one so you can check where your soulmate is coming from take good care of your crystal souls and i'll see you guys on my next one